Hi everybody, Max Shank here, and today I wanted to help you guys a little bit with some regressions and progressions for the thoracic bridge. The standard thoracic bridge, as I've taught you guys to do it, involves shoulder down in the socket with a symmetrical stance with the feet, torso pointing to the wall or even to the floor, and hips pointing up to the ceiling. Now, for some of you, this is a little bit of a difficult position to get into, so I wanted to offer a couple alternatives to make this transition into the full movement a little bit easier. The first is just to set up with the same side leg flat, then you won't be restricted by this hip. So you're gonna do the same relative movement, still trying to drive the hips up, but because of that uh, hip not restricting your movement anymore, it's gonna be significantly easier. So setting up with the right palm and the left foot flat on the floor, torso still across, bridging up this way is going to be a lot easier. It's very similar to the high bridge position during the get up. The other alternative, if even that is a little bit too difficult, is gonna be standing away from the wall, facing straight away, and reaching back with the hand. This is gonna allow you to get some leverage, still pushing the hips into extension by using the glute, but also allowing you to keep the chest pointed at a 90 degree angle away at least, and leverage using your hips and using the wall. And once you're comfortable with these two variations, you can start working into that uh, full thoracic bridge position. So start here, let the hips sink a little bit lower, pull that other foot in, make sure the shoulder's in the right position, and then you are good to go.